Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis episode 2 with our series here. Um, I ended up losing some of my population for whatever reason. I think the pressure or something, I'm not sure, but I couldn't get these, I couldn't get this colony to kick off to save my life, but I finally got it. And, um, and then I had a HAB unit upgrade to level 10, which was nice. And we've got the one HAB unit here with the 100 residents. So now I'm going to go ahead and start doing a couple things. But one thing I am going to do is put the children's crush down because I want to make sure that I don't lose a bunch of population again. So that should hopefully do it. And then with that being the case, we're going to go for the sequestration plan so we can start bringing pressure down. Um, actually, you know what? It may, it may not be worth doing this actually. And I'll tell you why it's not worth doing that. It's not worth doing that because I can just research uh, better ways to bring the pressure down, not even mess with the sequestration lab, just work towards the uh, more needed things. Um, so let's start researching. Oh wait, no crap, cancel. Real quickly, the very first thing I wanna do is get iron. There we go. And I won't worry about silver because we don't even have the money for it, but I want to get iron. And then I want to research the biofixture lab. It's going to cost me two million. Now, I think it makes the most sense. We got to bring heat down as well. The arrow strap platform actually gives me credit. Um, solar sh shade eats up credits. I'll probably do. I want to start working on bringing the heat down first or the pressure down. Um, probably the pressure that's plus 10 oxygen, which we can build up minus 40 pressure. Then this gives us water and heat. We'll need water to build up heat. Um, we want to go down so then we can do the aerostat platform. So let's work on the bio fixture lab and get that going. And then let's go ahead and get some new outposts here. Now we'll start looking for iron. Hopefully we can find some good amounts of it there's real close to our other one which kind of sucks but that's pretty typical All right, so we'll throw one down there. 400,000 credits is a lot, but it's gonna give us a good amount. Let's see if we can get one more good one. That one's pretty good. 500,000 credits, another 700. All right, so that puts us at 877,000. We've almost spent all of our credits. I don't have any culture points yet, but we'll have all that going. Could find a new outpost, but I'm not even gonna worry about it. Massive deposit of carbon in the area. Nice. Let me take a look at that. What's that put us at for that mine on carbon? Five days. So these would be done in 10 hours, but that's got five days and 21 hours. That's really, really good. All right. So that'll be a lot of uh, money from that. I can actually upgrade that if I wanted to, especially because of how fast it's going to, how long it'll take. It'll increase productivity, so it'll help speed up. You can see now that it's going to be three days instead, but we're getting a lot more a lot quicker. So we'll do that. Um, okay, so yeah, my thinking is right now, so you guys know, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the uh, researching the bio fixture lab. That'll do the minus 40 pressure plus 10 oxygen. Um, so that'll start increasing oxygen, lowering pressure. Uh, once I start researching the hydrogen processor, that'll really lower the pressure. We're going to need that minus 100 pressure. Uh, I don't want to be adding heat. I'll let the water add up because we're going to need water, but I don't want the heat adding up. So I'll be subtracting the pressure and then I will get the aerostat platform. That'll give us, um, I don't need to go for the solar shade because I don't want to spend the credits, but that'll get us credits which we'll take and that'll get the heat balanced off and then if i actually build two of these hydrogen processors we'll only be subtracting 20 heat um, and canceling out the hydrogen processor um, so that'll help out a lot because we don't need the heat to go down it does need to go down but we don't need to go down as quick as the 
pressure. The pressure's at nine million. That's a lot. The heat's high too, but we can get that down with with one of those or actually one or uh, two of those aerostat platforms going. We could definitely bring this down within a good week's time. Uh, this will take two to three weeks, if not longer, depending on how many of those platforms I build. It's going to take a while. I probably start building some of the sequestration plants as well, just to kind of help take that down. Because holy crap, that's going to be a lot. It's going to take a lot. And I don't think any of this has changed. For water, actually, um, do we have any? It says vapor and atmosphere, zero. So I guess there's none there. How's population? Native birth rate's not going up, but it will be going up here shortly once I get the that. And then this is pretty good here. Rich gem deposits. I didn't even know I got that. So the plus 200 is nice. All right. So that's where we stand there and we've got a general idea of where we're going to be going so we're actually at the end of this episode you can see i actually got a lot of uh, genesis points i could use the genesis points to uh rush this it's not a bad idea it only costs us 11. you think that over um if i could rush that then i could start building one here um i think i'm gonna want to build one let me go look again at the research we need to increase oxygen and lower pressure so this is something we can do. Eventually, I'll need to get the oxygen filter so that I can offset the 10 oxygen from this because the, the oxygen is going to fill up way faster and the pressure is going to go down. So I want to actually research this. So you know what? Let me go ahead and, well, you know what? Nah, I'll just let it, I'll let it run down. I'll save the Genesis points for later on. Uh, more than likely, I'll need it for money in the beginning before I lead, need it for boosting research because you never have a lot of money in the beginning so it's always handy for that so I'll just hold on to the Genesis points I'll keep building them up we're gonna spend them at some point uh, we're gonna end up spending them for sure so all right awesome so with that being said I want to thank you all for joining me I do hope that you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you next time